Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric VTuber, and I wanted to show you in this video how to customize the clothing in the MetaHuman Creator, specifically how I added my face as a logo on top of my sweatshirt. So let's pop over to the MetaHuman Creator and show you where I originally got my sweatshirt and added the design on it, and then replace that with my own custom picture. All right, so now that we have the MetaHuman open, I've got three different MetaHumans. My latest is Eric AI right here, and if I open it up and click on Edit Selected, you'll notice that if I go to my tops, I picked the sweatshirt, the hoodie, and it has a mountain on top. And the, re the way that you add the mountain to it is by coming over to the Graphic tab, and there's a whole bunch of different designs, like this mountain. But there's no way to upload your own custom graphic and I knew that there was no upload tool, but I figured if I put a mountain on my sweatshirt that I would be able to go into Unreal and find where that is and replace it with my own graphic. So what did I do? Well, here we are back in the simulator and let me hit escape and come out of that. All right, so if you wanna replace that image, go over to your MetaHumans folder on the left-hand side in the content browser and open up your MetaHuman. And by the way, if you don't know how to import a MetaHuman and create a MetaHuman, I have other videos on my channel that shows you how to do that. But I'm assuming that you've now added a MetaHuman and maybe you went back and updated your MetaHuman with a sweatshirt or t-shirt and a logo. So when you open that up, you'll notice that if you go to the viewport, you can see your character. And what I am doing is going over to the torso area um, so that it selects this. Now over here on the right, I've got my material. And if I double click the material, um, you will see uh, this big white ball or something based on the material you have selected. But if you scroll on the right all the way down, you'll eventually find print graphic map down here. And you can see I've already changed the image. Well, let me show you how I got there, is right next to this is a browse to. And if you click that, by clicking on this, it looks like nothing has happened. But if I minimize this, you'll notice in the content browser, it's bringing me right to the correct folder. And that's where the mountains were. So all I did was import a PNG file with a transparent background into that. And I did that by clicking on import and going to my desktop and then grabbing that and bringing that in. Well, it's already in here, so I'm gonna say no. Then once I had that imported, I went back to the window that I left open that has the hoodie. And if I wanted to change it, for example, back to the mountain, I just click and drag it into this box and click on save and you'll notice let me just minimize that that if i click play i now have the mountains back and you can tell there's a filter of some sort keeping it in black and white well i hit escape again and go back to that window and this time i'll drag my face on top of it which is a png file click on save close the window play again and voila that's how I did it. So I think that's pretty cool. I hope you guys like that short little tutorial. Love to see what you guys do. Uh, feel free to post your work. If you join my Discord channel, we've got a special channel for posting your work. And I'd love to see your uh, holiday sweatshirt or something else pretty cool. So come on over and join us.